Hello Libra. Welcome to Eight of Cups Tarot. Welcome to your mid-month reading. Uh, these are just short updates guys to get you through some pretty intense transits that we've got coming up. The next two to three weeks are going to be pretty dicey and this is all second house, eighth house stuff for you guys. Financial stuff, maybe regarding spouses, finances, making a square to the fifth house, maybe some issues with children, page of cups. Let's take a look at what's going on for you so I can help guide you through some of these situations. This page of cups is just coming out as very naive to me. Um, it doesn't irritate me so much, so maybe it is like a child. Maybe it's an indication that you've been kind of ignoring something. Temperance card. Page of Wands. Very young, new energy. Whatever the situation is, it's probably not well established. Eey. Page of Wands, King of Swords. Lots of people in your reading. swords lots of sword energy as well lots of kind of being up in the head a lot of worry a lot of stress oh and the two of cups okay so no worries libra no worries oh death and rebirth eighth house okay I feel like this page of cups, like I said, it feels very naive. There's definitely an element of not being grounded, but I'm not so sure that that's a negative thing right now. Like I love this page of cups and this page of wands. I feel like Virgo just wants, I'm sorry, Libra. Libra just wants something new. There's an element of, you know, like that naive heart, just wanting to be able to love again without remembering like the hurts or the regrets or guilt. It's just pure and easy love. And I like this particular card here because we have this pig like with actual wings and you think of the statement like when pigs fly. And the thing is the page of cups does have the ability to really believe in those things that maybe most people don't believe in. Because it's not practical, you know, the page of cups like it's not like where you could stay for a really long time. Oftentimes we find ourselves in the page of cups kind of feeling like when we're first falling in love or we start a new job or we get a new animal. Like I have this new kitten and I'm just, I'm just adoring it and it's very page of cups. It's very naive. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if this is working out or not. Um, but I like it and it's about being in the moment and being able to appreciate because the page of cups is childlike. It's childlike nature. And therefore you just kind of move and gravitate towards the things that you love. But the card here is temperance. And I like how temperance is kind of in the middle of this page of cups and this page of wands. This is like bringing you back down to earth. Page of Cups is like, oh, I just really love this. I'm going to go shopping. I'm going to buy this. I'm going to do that. And 
page of wands is like same it's like oh i have this desire i want to go out i want to be more social i want to explore i want to try all the new things and temperance is like whoa 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 like we have a future we have a plan we have things that we need to accomplish and to me temperance is great because temperance is like that sagittarius energy that of Jupiter, but also the reminder that Jupiter is working with and in tandem in the same sign with Saturn in a Saturn ruled sign. So there's this need to stay grounded. And there's also an element of divinity when we pull the temperance card. There's an element of like the right time, the right support, like the universe kind of putting it all together. And I love that we have the page of cups and the page of wands because they are so easy to manifest from these places because they're just so clean. You know, you're not carrying around the resentments or the regrets or all the failures and mistakes that we make like there's no baggage and it makes the universe really it makes it so easy for the universe to bring you the things like if you're manifesting stuff like it's not real specific you know you're not like okay well i want a new relationship and i want it with somebody with dark hair and green eyes and the universe is like really Really, because maybe you don't realize that the love of your life actually has blonde hair and therefore you're completely blinded to it. Like, there's not a lot of control coming from this page of cups and this page of wands. And the universe is probably doing things to get you here. Maybe making you restart things or making you do things. And then the, we have this King of Swords, and he's right here underneath this Death and Rebirth card. And I laugh because you're going through a pretty hefty eighth house transit, right? Uranus in your eighth house. This King of Swords. The card of Aquarius. And there's something like really magical that can come when you allow yourself to get lost in the things that you truly love. There's something about like when you connect to the more innocent energy, you could see things from a better perspective, from a higher perspective. And maybe there's somebody, maybe this King of Swords character, this is like Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, maybe there's a person in your life who's going through some pretty intense changes. There's almost a feeling of growth that I get from this King of Swords, like learning your lessons. Maybe this is you learning your lessons through the mistakes, through the naivety that you carry. But the King of Swords can look back and he can look over his life and he could say, well, yeah, but I'm glad that those things happen because I know better now. King of Swords knows better now. The King of Swords is super, super strategic and he's also able to pull back his emotions. Super emotionally intelligent. And if you are a Libra that can be both of these things at the same time, then that's pure magic. 
if you can allow yourself to really attach to the more naive and adventurous attitude and understand that it is for your greater good that you are learning lessons rapidly and you are ascending maybe some libras are really trying to master something maybe some of you are taking lessons or working on your skills maybe some of you have a new interest or hobby that you really love and you're really working hard on it and therefore your knowledge is growing you are transforming as a person in that process and then here in the antagonist card we have this eight of swords which of course is very antagonizing because this is like all that self-doubt this is like the opposite of the page of cups and the page of wands because they're not thinking about like oh my god if we do this then it'll affect this person and it'll hurt this person's feelings and blah 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 and eight of swords is they are they're holding themselves back this is like self-imprisonment through like negative thought processes and worry and stress like eight of swords rule rolls into the nine of swords where you start like losing sleep at night and I think that this Eight of Swords is going to make you resort to this King of Swords. The intelligent thing to do is to disconnect from the fear and the worry. Allow yourself to be a little bit naive and a little bit adventurous. Look, the thing is, if you stay in the Eight of Swords, it's not ever productive. All you do is expend your energy worrying. It's like a mouse, like on a, you know, like on a wheel. It's not doing anything. It's not accomplishing anything. It's not for your greater good. It's not for anybody else's greater good. All it does is make you tired. All it does is plant seeds of doubt which means that you can't believe that pigs can fly. You can't believe in love if you're stuck in the Eight of Swords. And you can't believe that those hobbies and things that you love to do can actually like be something and go somewhere. You can't believe in it when you're in the Eight of Swords. And that's why this Temperance card is so magical. It's like the universe is like, no, oh, Hold on, we're going to balance you out. King of Swords, Libra energy, your energy. We need to balance this out. This is like very Tao to me. Very find the middle. Look, we can't always be in that childlike state, not worrying about the consequences, but we can't always be in the state of worrying either. So we're going into the process of balancing all of it out. And the Ten of Cups is a promise that there will be harmony. Things will work out. Even if you have to go back to scratch. If it's an emotional relationship, maybe you have to start all over. Maybe you have to do something scary, like just literally ask somebody out. Tell somebody how you feel. And the Page of Wands, like you like something, you have a desire, but you have to actually have a practical plan. King of Swords. And I like the King of Swords. I like it's a King of Swords in that a king of pentacles because a king of pentacles it could take forever but the king of swords it doesn't have to it can move very very fast once you figure it out once you figure out the perfect recipe the perfect balance within you okay i think you can i think that you can do that crazy thing but let's make sure all the ducks are in a row. Let's make sure that like we have enough money, that we have enough time. 
that we're not missing anything important. And there has to be a balance. And also a reminder that the connections in your life are very important, Libra. There might be like a focus on other things in your life. Might be nurturing a lot of things. Maybe you're with your children a lot. Maybe you are focused on um, hobbies or interests. Like this isn't like strategic money making energy here, like for sure, right? Probably not like really focused on the budget and the saving or the preparing. And the death and rebirth means that, yeah, there's a pullback. There's a lesson because you require that balance. This lesson will get you back into this King of Swords element your element, your level of intelligence and good decision making. Yeah, you might have to deal with some consequences, but you will be all the better for it. I like this reading, Libra. two cards true love and truth I love the true love card because down here we have this always makes me laugh it's like this little I don't know if you could see it um two hands holding like a heart together like a connection it's very sweet reminds me of very innocent true love Your wholeness and safety lie within, not from a partner, but this sovereignty. Sorry, guys. Actually, leads to the deepest intimacy for you to stop using others. Let me stand on my own feet, dear Lord, and know true love. I want to read that again. Because, yeah, there seems like a childlike behavior here. And then what happens when you step into the acceptance, when you step into the responsibility, and you kind of allow yourself to grow up? It's very Saturnian energy to me. True love. Your wholeness and safety lie within. Not from a partner. But this sovereignty actually leads to the deepest intimacy for you to stop using others. Let me stand on my own feet, dear Lord, and know true love. Yeah. And truth. When everything is done as an offering, even the act of speaking, you get shown when to talk and when to be silent. Your words come from silence, not fear. You do the talking, dear Lord. Take me over and speak through me. There does seem to be some kind of an acknowledgement, some kind of a birth, something that needs to be... Um, acknowledged and accepted. Maybe a way that you were behaving that was more childlike. And you have to step into more of a, a role of like leadership, being on your own, being competent. I don't know, the last few readings, I think Libras have been kind of where you had to step into a supporting role, which maybe wasn't the role you found yourself in like maybe you have to start making the money for the family maybe something happens you know eighth house transit there could be issues with taxes you might have to come up with some money or you know work some stuff out and the, the king of swords can also represent some legal issues there but like the worrying about it like avoiding it and then worrying it and avoiding it and then worrying about it is probably not productive whereas it coming to a head 
and then having the ability to fix it will ultimately free you from the eight of swords which is like that thing that keeps you in that place of worry you probably have to deal with some things head on this month maybe you've been spending a little too much putting a little much too much on credit cards and like this is kind of the reckoning lessons learned right and ultimately they grow and if this is in regards to a connection or you're going through this with a spouse or a partner it will actually improve your connection in some way it will draw you closer it will bring your life into greater balance that thing that maybe you've been fearing for some while or avoiding will actually benefit you in the long run no place like home card number 50 breaking down to a five isn't that the truth sometimes we don't know what we have until we lose it sometimes we don't appreciate the things that we have until we know what it's like to not have them and there could be a real change in your priorities this month there could be a real change in the things that you love and appreciate maybe it's time to pull it all back in maybe you've been doing a lot of stuff like social with other people out with friends looking for new people maybe you've been dating a lot and this is a reminder that you need to get centered and get back to home if you have to take a break it's not so bad There's nourishment, there's safety, there's a roof over your head. Yeah, maybe it's not so exciting. Yeah, maybe it's not so indulgent. But it's safe. It's home. I love that card. All right, Libra, um, it's a beautiful reading. I will be back in some capacity in May. I'm not sure when. I'm having a little bit of a hard time like with commitments and promises these days. Um, but I will be back. There will be more readings to come. I do truly hope that you guys um, can use this guidance to get you through the next couple of weeks. I wish you the best of luck. I love you guys so much. Take care, and I'll see you again in May. Bye.